or get a life or maybe get a job or something pack it up and head back home tell everybody i was bluffing or maybe i'll just get out my head and focus on what i know's coming yeah cause i can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams delusion and reality i'm somewhere in between Voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me That I'm a fool for trusting in these wings Drinking themselves crazy tonight <laughs> Maybe I should call and say told you I'd be right Wondering how long it was before you realized The biggest mistake of your life And now you're paying the price Oh, is it confidence or confusion? Either way I feel like I ain't never losing Your opinion or now you know just what I'm choosing I gotta do this Cause I can't fall asleep at night Without seeing my dreams 2024 boys basketball girls cheerleading senior night. Our first senior is Brianna Ball. Brianna is escorted by her mom Michelle and her dad Ron and her brother Blaine. Brianna's future plans are to cheer at Muskingum University and major in early childhood education. She has earned three varsity letters in cheer and four in four academic letters. <laughs> Caitlin Johnson. Kate, Katie is escorted by her mom, Michelle, and her dad, Sean. She plans to attend Xavier University and study business management. Katie has earned two varsity letters in cheer, three in volleyball, and four academic letters. Katie would like to thank all her friends, family, and coaches. Thank you for supporting me and sticking by my side and helping me become the person I am today. to be her best, to my most host for welcoming me, to Christy and helping me every day with everything, and to all my friends for all the memories together. <laughs> Ella Nabergal. Ella is escorted by her mom, Kristen, her dad, Jason, and her sister, Grace. Her future plans are to, to attend Ohio University and major in communications. She has earned three varsity letters in cheer and two in academics. She would like to thank her coach, teammates, and loved ones for supporting her through these last four years. She's truly grateful for all Cinnaberg has given her. Riley Schneider. Riley is escorted by her parents Clint and by her parents Clint and Leslie Schneider. The future plans are to attend Ohio State University to obtain a degree in education. She has earned four varsity letters in cheer, two in track, and two in academics. She would like to thank all of her friends and family for always supporting her. Also, thank you to all her coaches for believing in her. Austin. 
Austin Anderson. Austin was escorted by his mom, Tiffany, his dad, Keith, and his brothers, Aiden Ashton, and little sister, Alyssa. Austin's future plans are undecided. Austin would like to thank his family, coaches, and teammates for a great experience as a Trojan. Grayson Reynolds. Grayson is escorted by his mom, Kate, his dad, Aaron, his stepdad, Bill, and his brother, Isaiah. Grayson's future plans are to attend a Capital University to play baseball and study business management. Grayson has earned three varsity letters in basketball, three in baseball, also holds accolades as first team all KMAC in basketball and second team all state in baseball. Grayson would like to say thank you to his parents for everything they have done for him. He wouldn't be where he was today without them. He would also like to thank his grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, and girlfriend for supporting him through the highs and lows. Lastly, he would like to thank Jim Purdy and everyone else who has supported him over the last four years. Special thanks to Coach Marhepka and Coach Glenn for pushing him to be a better person and athlete. Ryder Scott. Kendra and his dad, Robert. Ryder's future plans are to attend Ohio State University to pursue a career in business or engineering. Ryder has earned two varsity letters in basketball and two in baseball. Ryder would like to thank his parents and family for supporting him. A big thank you to Jim Purdy and Cody Neininger for helping him through the high school academics. Also, thank you to all the coaches for helping and guiding him over the years. And ladies and gentlemen, your 2024 Winter Sports Boys Basketball Girls Cheerleaders.
Maybe mom and dad were right when they told me this wouldn't be nothing Maybe I should take their advice, go get a life Or maybe get a job or something Pack it up and head back home, tell everybody I was bluffing or Maybe I'll just get out my head and focus on what I know's coming Yeah Cause I can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between These voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me That I'm a fool for trusting in these wings Drinking themselves crazy tonight <laughs> Maybe I should call and say told you I'd be right Wondering how long it was before you realized The biggest mistake of your life And now you're paying the price Oh, is it confidence or confusion? Either way I feel like I ain't never losing Your opinion or not, you know just what I'm choosing I gotta do this Cause I can't fall asleep at night Without seeing my dreams Delusion and reality I'm somewhere in between These voices in my head get loud And they keep telling me That I'm a fool for trusting in these wings But maybe, baby, this will fly
see him in Centerburg, Ohio. The Centerburg Trojans look to snap a losing streak as they get ready for tournament time. Standing in the way of Kip Columbus squad. It just knocked off a KMAC opponent last night. They look to make it two in the row. We got all the action coming your way on your smartphone, TV, PC, tablet, any smart device you have with free game coming your way next. Guarantee nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations, too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. Hi, I'm Joe Baylog, and you're not. Hall of Fame coach turned future Hall of Fame host. Now he's on TV hosting his own. Highlighted now team in the Joe Show Zone. Hall of Fame coach, now a host. Sharing our stories from coast to coast From the court to the screen, he's the best Jewels like to see Liz on in the Joe Show Quest Because this is my show And it's an all new me In the new year Deal with it Welcome you inside the Webb's Automotive pregame show for this senior night matchup between the Centerburg Trojans and Kip Columbus. Hello, everybody. My name is Travis Berardi coming to you from the Trojan Coliseum in the heart of Ohio, where the Centerburg Trojans look to get back on the right foot after some tough losses against a tough Kip Columbus squad who knocked off Cardington on the road by 10 points one evening ago. So let's take a look at the team spotlight for Kip Columbus. Nine and seven, three and two in the United League Conference. They have won their last two games after a 66-53 loss to Patriot Prep, a team that we might be seeing play another K-Max squad here down the line in Northmore, possibly in a, section, in a district semifinal. 51.4 points per game, defensively giving up 53.3. They did win at Cardington last night by 10, 45-35. They're the 13th seed in the Division Three Central District. They'll host 14th seeded Liberty Union in a sectional semifinal. Now let's take a look at the team spotlight for the home standing Trojans of Centerburg. 
High School. Under head coach John Marhefka, they've lost their last four games. Tough ones, including that Freddie Bird game on Saturday by five points. They lost to Cardington as well as Pleasant. They're scoring 51.9 points per game, giving up 52.5. They've lost their last four, like I said. However, they're the 16 seed in the D3 Central District. They could face Cardington in a sectional final if Cardington knocks off Horizon Science. As we see both teams getting ready for the National Anthem, but let's look at our player spotlight. A player won't be on the floor tonight, but he is honored as one of the senior athletes. That is Grayson Reynolds. Out with an injury midway through the season, but we still want to honor him at least one more time here on senior night. 11.9 points per game. That's still good for top 10 in the KMAC. Blocks per game at 0.6 and steals per game at 2.7. All three are still top 10 in the Knox Morrow Athletic Conference. As we are just about ready for the playing of our national anthem, but before that, let's welcome everybody watching live and free this evening. Let me know where you're watching from. Give us a shout out, and we will shout you right back out. But let's throw it down to the floor for the playing of our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Just about ready to go here from Centerburg. So now it's time to take a look at our keys to victory first for the Jaguars of Kip Columbus. Run and gun, get out fast, get in transition and score some buckets. That is how Fredericktown was able to knock off the Trojans here on Saturday evening and limit turnovers because the Trojans, they're a squad that can turn you over. Now for the keys to victory for the Trojans of Centerburg. Tournament momentum. KMAC has been decided. Their seed has been decided. They only have a couple games left. It's senior night. Get some momentum out there by getting a big win, playing well. And one of the ways they can do that is if Trevin Harris and Isaiah Suli both can have good games. We've seen them both individually have a good game, but if both of them together can, they will have a solid shot at making a run. As we see the introduction of the lineups for Kip Columbus, they actually did not have a roster for us, was able to get these names last second, so I will read you the starting five for Kip Columbus. Emmanuel Kippelding, number one. Malachi Wilder, number four. Jason Corby, number five. Jonathan Amos, number 11. And Reuben Holmes, number 12 for Kip. The starters for Centerbergs, both seniors able to play tonight. Austin Anderson, number zero. Ryder Scott, number 24, will start. As well as Bennett Hill, number five. Isaiah Suli, number 11. And Trevin Harris, number 23. Kip Columbus, coast, coached by Don Estes. Centerberg, coached by John Mar Hefka. And that'll do it for the Webb's Marathon and Automotive pregame show. We're just about ready to go here. Senior night in Centerburg.
We will also be keeping watch on Centerburg's rival, Fredericktown. They are taking on Mansfield Christian in a big non-conference tournament warm-up warm -up game. We'll keep an eye on that one as the night progresses. But we're ready to go here. Also a non-conference action in the KMAC tonight. Northmore is at Winford, Division Three. Cardington played last night and a loss to Kip Columbus. East Knox hosts Granville Christian. Danville has the night off and we are under way. Tip one by Kip, it's Cordy. Starting things off, man-to-man -man defense for the Trojans and Suli. Actually, Terrace with the strip and the turnover. Into the lane, puts it up, but an offensive foul. And that is how this game will begin. Harris will be called for his first foul. Once again, hello to everybody watching this evening, including Daniel Stotts. Keeping an eye probably on a couple of our games tonight. Inside layup goes Reuben Holmes. Gets the scoring going here. 2-0. Trojans with its second possession. Harris gets into the lane. Puts a tough shot up, no good. Rebound out the Kip. Mid-range jumper kind of forced that one, no good. Harris gets the board. Quickly ahead, right side. Hill for three. Got it. Centerberg leads 3-2. Bennett Hill, quickly right back at you. Centerberg, bit full court, pressure. Kip can't get it over, they'll get a timeout. And a good defensive effort here to start for the Trojans as we'll take a look. It's a home and kitchen supply timeout as we take a look at the OSPF. Replay, 3-2 here early on. Try and get some scoring updates for all of you folks as we go on here tonight. So we come out of the timeout. Full court man again, looking for the trap, but it's easily broken. That's Amos, nearly traveled, gets it inside the Holmes. Holmes with Harris right on his back. Harris with the strip, but it stays with Kick Columbus. Cordy. And off the Kippledy. And we'll get a bump foul. Is that on Harris? If it is, that's his second, and it is. A tough break for Centerberg here early on as Trevin Harris will have to take a seat. Jack Lawrence will check back in. His first minutes of the evening. Had some big buckets against Fredericktown as that's stolen away. Suli into the lane, jump stops and then traveled. Went a little too fast. And a turnover leads to a turnover. But Jack Lawrence, so that's stripped away. Hill puts it up off the glass and in. Bennett Hill, all five points. Five to the score. Cordy gets across the timeline. Amos is going to be fouled as we'll take a look at the steal and hoop on the other end by Centerberg. Fouls on Austin Anderson, his first. Team's third already of the first quarter.
Ball inbounds. Great defense by Centerberg forces the travel. The fourth turnover already on Kip Columbus. Inspired defense here early on by the Trojans. We've seen this defense early in the season that had them for a time at the top of the KMAC. Also tonight, Highland taking on Danville. That's the other KMAC game this evening. Suli. Gets the hill. 5-2 Centerberg here. Three minutes gone by first quarter. Anderson kicks it left side. Suli for three. Got it. First points for Isaiah. 8-2. Kip on the other end. Holmes puts it up. Won't go. Rebound to Jack Lawrence. Quickly inside to Anderson, double teamed. Gets it back out to Suli. He's double teamed now in the corner. And I believe we're gonna get a foul. It is the first against Wilder. Anderson, the senior will check out. Into the game, Blaine Ball. <clears throat> Mid-range for Suli, a little too strong. Rebound taken by Kip. But stolen away by Lawrence. Fifth turnover on Kip. Works it around. Three in the air for Suli again, just short. Rebound fought for, saved, and into the hands of Jack Lawrence. Kip saved it, but Lawrence got it. Hill. Into Scott. Scott moves off the glass. Yes! 10-2. Centerberg out with the eight-point lead. Almost a walk. And then they do turn it over as we take a look at the bucket on the other end. Kip with its sixth turnover here of the game. Substitutions here. Anderson will check back in for Jack Lawrence. Three twenty left here opening quarter. Hill gets at the ball now to Suli. Doesn't like the backdoor look. Gets it back out to Bennett. Trojans with some patience here. Down to the corner to Scott, then back out to Isaiah. Suli spins but loses the handle. And then we're going to get a frustration foul. It'll go against Isaiah, the fourth team foul against Centerberg in this first quarter. Into the lane, a pass. Nothing there. No, they're going to call a foul and free throws. That first was a pass. Nonetheless, it's Ryder Scott's first, and it'll send Kippelding to the line for two. Interesting. First free throw good, and Kipp finally back on the board since scoring the first bucket of the game.
Second one won't go. Ball bounced out. It's an offensive board. But they can't get it to go. Back come the Trojans. Counted in one. Bennett Hill. What a quarter he's had. He's got seven in the first quarter. Fouls against Deontay Smith, his first. Can't get the free throw, though, to go. Full court pressure again by the Trojans. Smith loses it out of bounds, another turnover. Number seven against Kip here in this quarter. Just off the hands of Wallace. Thomas Schaller in for Centerberg. Tough shot by Sue Lee, and he's going to be bailed out and get two free throws. That'll go against Kipling his first. And free throws coming in the way of Centerberg. Twelve three to score here with two twelve left in the first. Make it thirteen three. Cordy will check back in and replace Holmes for Kip. Got them both. Five for Isaiah. Fourteen three. Pass inside, Kippelding puts it up, won't go, he'll get free throws. That'll go against Shaler, his first. First free throw goes. Scott will check back in. Misses the second, rebound to Centerberg. And a bump. That'll be the fourth foul against Kip. It'll go against Wallace, his first. Trojans working it around the perimeter here against this 1-3-1 zone by Kip. Changing things up. Suli on the elbow, kicks it back out to Scott. 90 seconds left, under 90 left here in the first quarter. Back door to Suli, nearly lost the handle. He'll pull up and rejected out of bounds by Reuben Holmes. Suli will take a break. Centerberg one bounds here with 114 left. Works it around now to Bennett Hill. Just running some time off this clock here. 
They will have possession to start quarter two unless a change of possession. That's a turnover. Wallace gets it back out to Amos. We'll see now if Kip will wait for the final shot. Cordy. Missed the pick and roll there. Skips it away though. Amos from the elbow. Off the mark, rebound Centerberg with 16 seconds. Scott with under 10. Bennett Hill with two, has to pull up. But he's called. Well, they won't call anything. That's how quarter one will end. Your score after one. Centerberg holding the 14-4 lead. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Centerberg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations, too. The Centerberg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. Quarter two about to begin here from Centerburg, the heart of Ohio. Trojans lead at 14-4 after one. Travis Berardi back here in Centerburg. Some scores from around the KMAC. Northmore and Winford tied at 15 early in the second quarter. Highland also had an early lead on Danville. Chris, Granville Christian 27, East Knox 22 at the break. Trojans with possession. Trevin Harris back in with his two fouls. Anderson underneath kicks it to Suli. Now to Harris. And I believe a three second call on Anderson. Fifth turnover against Centerberg. Quickly into the lane, right side, dunk attempt. Goes in one. Looked like he went for the dunk, but instead at the last second, got the lay in. Holmes has his fourth point. And it'll be the second foul on Austin Anderson. So that'll make it 14-6. Can't get the free throw though. Two of five from the line is Kip tonight. That's deflected out of bounds. No, they didn't say it got deflected, it's a turnover. So now the sixth turnover on Centerberg. Halftime score, Lucas 34, clear for 28. A rivalry matchup, Division Four versus Division Two. Into the lane, missed, handled it. Back will come Centerberg, just out of the hands. And the other 11 goes in, counted in one for Isaiah Suli. Free throw though, no good. Suli now with seven points as well as it's 16-6, nearly a backcourt violation. Nice save, three in the air for Kip, got it. 
Quarty with his first points. 16-8. Suli now with nine. 18-8 the score. They called that a two, not a three for Kip. Suli again, blocked. Kip comes out with it. Cordy into the lane, floats it up and in. He's got four, it's 18-10. My correction, it's Owen Taylor's number 10, not Jack Lawrence. Into the lane, Hill. Back out. Suli from the corner, just missed. Offensive board, put back, counted, and one. <laughs> Bennett Hill once again. Free throw won't go, though. Twenty to ten, the score. Quickly the other way, and the bucket goes. Cordy now has six quick points, and we'll get a foul. That'll go against Taylor. His first. Halftime score, Northmore 27, Winford 26. Also, Highland 28, Danville 13 at the break. Five minutes left here in the half, eight point Centerburg lead. Skip pass to Harris. Back around to Sue Lee. Drives baseline. Floats it up. Just short. Rebound long out to Kip. Tough take, but a travel. Isaiah Wallace. Called for the travel. Trojans again working around the perimeter. Hill to Taylor. Back around to Bennett. Now into the corner for Isaiah. Drains the three. Suli with 12. It's 23 12. Wallace into the lane, won't go for him in an offensive board, put back, yes. Holmes with his sixth point off the offensive board, 23-14. Deep three in the air, got it! And a timeout, Kip Columbus has... Bennett Hill drains it from deep. He's got 12 points. It's 26-14. While we have a moment, let's say hello to everybody watching live and free.
Hello to the Willie Browning watching on Facebook as well. Thank you all for watching this evening. Take a look, a live look at Mansfield Christian, and they are up big on Fredericktown, 30 to 14 in the second quarter. Playing in the furnace, a very small court. Back here, it's a 12 point Centerburg lead. Bennett Hill with 12, Isaiah Suli, 12. Ryder Scott, two. Another foul here. That's going to be the first on Blaine Ball. <laughs> Tough shot won't go. And a foul against Kip on the rebound. Ruben Holmes first. Three minutes left in the half. Trojans maintain its double digit lead. Fourth Trojan in the scoring book tonight. And we'll get a foul. Take a look at the bucket. Kick back out. Wilder. Now to Wallace. Isaiah around two defenders, crosses over, pulls it back out with 2.30 left. Nearly gets it stripped from him. And they're going to call a foul. And a travel, a lot going on there. We'll take a replay. It's the ninth turnover on Kip. Into the corner for Suli, short but we're going to get three free throws. Take a look. Was not allowed to land. That'll be Wilder second, and we'll get three free throws for Isaiah Suli. Gets the first. He gets all three. 15 for Isaiah, two minutes left in the half. Into the lane, a floater, offensive foul. Cordy's first foul, Kip's 10th turnover. It is their team six, but it's a player control foul, so no free throws for the Trojans, but they will get possession.
Hill. Gets it to Ryder Scott. Now to Suli into the lane. Floats off the glass. No rebound. Kip. Wallace picks up his dribble. Gets it across the timeline to Holmes. Into the lane. Floats. Gets it to go. Eight for Rubin. Quickly the other way. Anderson can't get it to go. And a bit of a collision there. Three in the air for Amos. No. Long rebound to the Trojans. Under a minute to play in the half. Hill into the corner of the Suli. Now to Anderson. Skips it but turns it over. That'll be a jump ball, and it'll stay with Kip. <laughs> Works across to Amos, looked inside and said he'll keep it. Into the lane, turnover. Suli bumped, he will get free throws. Second foul on Isaiah Wallace. Thirty-one sixteen, the score on the Monarch Title Services scoreboard. One a two. Six of eight from the line is Isaiah here in the first half, and a turnover again. Nice job there by Blaine Ball to force the issue. Turnover. And an error. Woo. Air Holmes, he's got 10. It's 32-18. Back on the other end. Layup won't go. And they're going to say that Anderson was out of bounds. Let's take a look at this sky high dunk. Possibly a play of the week nominee right there. Final 10 seconds. Can Kip get another bucket? Holmes won't go. Offensive rebound won't go. Still bouncing around with one second at the buzzer. Short. And that'll do it for the first half. What a half by the Centerburg Trojans here on senior night. They lead it 32-18 as we head to the break. You're watching High School Hoops live and free right here on the OH Report. Nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations, too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. Hi, I'm Joe Balog, and you're not. 
Hall of Fame coach turned future Hall of Fame host. Now he's on TV hosting his own. Highlighting our team in the Joe Zone. Hall of Fame coach, now a host. Sharing our stories from coast to coast. From the court to the screen, he's the best. Jules like to see Liz on in the Joe Show Quest. Because this is my show. And it's an all new me in the new year. Deal with it. Tonight's game brought to you live and free on the OH Report thanks to our generous sponsors. Monarch Title Services, without the support, the support of Rochelle Sammons and her crew at Monarch Title, Centerberg Sports would not be available live and free to Trojan fans. If you're selling or refinancing your real estate, you get to choose the title company. Why not support those who support the Trojans and close with confidence anytime, anywhere? Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. Webb's Automotive. And Webb's Marathon and Automotive. Stop by Webb's Marathon to join the Webb's Rewards program where you can earn dollars off fuel and free drinks and coffee. Go Trojans! Home and Kitchen Supply, your one-stop shop for kitchen and baths, windows and doors since 1970. and Knox Community Hospital in the community for the community. Also, the Ohio Suicide Prevention Foundation. Call or text 988 for support 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Thank you all for allowing us to be live and free this evening. Guarantee nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. From primary care to orthopedics, 
women's health. To pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. Hi, I'm Joe Baylog, and you're not. Hall of Fame coach turned future Hall of Fame host. Now he's on TV hosting his own. Let it out, team in the Joe Zone. Hall of Fame coach, now a host. Sharing our stories from coast to coast. From the court to the screen, he's the best. Jules like to see Liz on in the Joe Show Quest. Because this is my show. And it's an all new me in the new year. Deal with it. Welcome back inside the Webb's Marathon and Automotive Halftime Report. Your score at the break, 32-18 in favor of the home squad. Centerburg Trojans on senior night. Travis Berardi back here in the heart of Ohio. Let's take a look at the Trojans warming up for quarter number three. But before that, let's take a look at the halftime statistics. Once again, brought to you by Webb's Marathon and Automotive. Centerberg behind four threes. Has jumped themselves out to a big lead. Seven twos, six at 10 from the free throw line. Kip Columbus, eight twos, no threes. Only two of five from the charity stripe. Thirteen rebounds, four offensive for the Jaguars. Nine rebounds, one offensive for Centerburg. Twelve turnovers against Kip, eight against the Trojans. And both teams fouls scattered throughout their squads. No one with three fouls, though. A few with two. Scor individual scoring in the first half. Kip led by Reuben Holmes, ten points, including that flush right before the break. Jason Cordy with six. Emmanuel Kipling, two free throws made for two points. As four, Centerberg led by Isaiah Suli, 16 points. Bennett Hill with 12. Ryder Scott, Owen Taylor both with two apiece. Fouls for both squads. Wilder and Isaiah Wallace both with two for Kip. Centerberg, Austin Anderson, Trevin Harris, Owen Taylor with two. Score by quarter, 14-4. Trojans after one. Eighteen fourteen, Centerburg in the second for their thirty-two to eighteen lead. This has been the Webb's Marathon and Automotive halftime report. Trojans in their home whites, red lettering going from right to left on your screen. Kip Columbus blue jerseys, white lettering going from left to right. Back to action. Suli to Harris fakes the three. Looking back door, gets it deflected away. It'll stay with Centerberg as we're underway here in quarter three. Some K-Max scores from around the area. Third quarter, Winford 40, Northmore 35. Forty-four forty, Winford after three. Lucas leading clear fork, 64-55 with a minute left. Into the lane, ball stripped away, turned it over. Ninth against... Centerburg, 14 point Trojan lead here. Smith gets it inside, layup won't go, rebound to the Trojans.
Bennett Hill works it inside to Harris. Double team, gets it to Anderson, then back out to Hill. One minute gone by. Scott, back out the hill again. Suli, one hand, short, rebound the Kip. Scoreless 90 seconds to start the second half. Smith, he'll try a three from straight away off the glass, no, but an offensive board. Inside, layup goes. Holmes with the first bucket of the second half. He's got 12, it's 32-20. Suli into Harris. Back to Hill. Scott from the free throw line, nothing but nylon. Ryder Scott's first points of the second half. He's got four, it's a 14 point lead. Amos nearly turns it over. Nice save by Cordy. Amos travels. Take a look at the bucket on the other end by Ryder Scott. Ahead to Harris. Ball fakes, double teamed. Still along the baseline, gets it to Suli. Suli with the floater, yes. 18 for Isaiah. Ahead to Kippelding. He's fouled by Suli. We'll get two free throws. Isaiah second. This is the first. Emmanuel, two of five from the line tonight. Second free throw. Off the back, iron offensive board, put back, no. Another offensive board. Ball on the ground, that should be a walk, and it is. <laughs> Cannot roll with possession of the ball on the ground. <laughs> Hill, closely guarded by Cordy. Now Isaiah. On the elbow, back out the hill, corner three. Just off the rim though, no. rebound the kip. Coming up on the midway point of quarter three. Into the lane and we'll get free throws. That'll be the third against Trevin Harris. Jonathan Amos looking for his first points of the night. Gets the friendly bounce for the first free throw. First point of the night for him. Second free throw, good. Gets them both. 36 22. Hill takes it all the way, gets it deflected, gets his own board. Harris to Sue Lee for three. No. Rebound taken by Kip. And then a foul after the rebound on Centerberg. And head coach John Marhefka will call a timeout. 
4.25 left here, third quarter. 36-22, Centerburg. Once again, hello to everybody watching on Facebook and YouTube. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us a shout out. We'll shout you back out here. Take a look at the Centerburg Trojan cheerleaders. And a timeout. Derek Dibbling of Fredericktown. Freddie's trailing Mansfield Christian 54 28 in the third quarter. So, right now, two of the five K Max squads playing tonight in the lead. Holmes gets the offensive board and put back. Gets us back down to a 12-point game as we hit the midway point of quarter three. That's a turnover on Centerberg. We'll look at the bucket on the other end. Tenth turnover on the Trojans tonight. Highland up on Danville, 39-17 through three. Behind the back three off the front iron. No rebound to Centerberg, but given right back. Into the lane, count it, and one. Quarty gets his eighth. Second foul on Scott. Gets the lead down to ten. Free throw, no good. Harris with the board. <clears throat> Trojans, East Knox both leading right now. Danville, Fredericktown, Northmore trailing. Three in the air, no. And a rebound, a foul against Centerberg. And Kip with a little bit of momentum here. That's Owen Taylor's third. That's the fifth against Centerberg. Fouls are 5-0 here in this third quarter. They'll send Jonathan Amos to the line. He was just two of two. Northmore has jumped out to a 53-49 lead with a big run to start the fourth quarter. Lucas knocks off Clear Fork 71-57. First free throw, no good. So now three K-Max squads out in front. Two trailing. Second free throw, good. First time the lead's been to single digits since midway in the second quarter. Bennett Hill. Now to Sully. Trevin Harris yet to get on the board tonight. Isaiah lost the handle, turns it over. 12th against Centerberg. Into the lane, another foul counted in one. Sully called for his third. Dante Smith with his first points. And just like that, it's down to seven. Misses the free throw offensive board and another foul. So that will result in free throws. As Trevin Harris is called for his fourth. Ruben Holmes, 0 of 1 from the line tonight. Gets the bounce. 36-30. Jackson Ballinger. The freshman checks in. Little height for the Trojans. 
Second free throw does not go. And a foul will go the other way. Finally, one called against Kip in the third quarter. And Ballinger immediately makes his mark on the game as Kippling fouled him. Full court pressure for Kip. Hill. Two Kip players collide. It's a five on three. Hill into the lane. Puts it up. Won't go, but he'll get free throws. He realized it was a five on three and immediately took it to the hole. And it'll be the third on Kippling. Two quick fouls against him. A much, much needed free throws here. And Hill misses the first. Score from River Valley. Vikings leading North Union 47-42 early in the fourth quarter. Gets the second. It's a seven-point game once again. Quick into the lane, floater goes. Amos with his first field goal, he's got five. It's a five point game. Suli into the lane, floater doesn't go, rebound, Kip. And a jump ball, it'll stay with Kip, but it will change the possession arrow now to Centerberg. And once again, Jackson Ballinger with a play. Smith breaks the timeline. Three in the air for Wallace, short. Rebound to Centerberg, but given right up. Smith into the lane, puts it up off the glass and in. 37-34. Suli with the floater and an answer. He's got 20. Two minutes left in the third. Press breaker goes. First points for Antoine Holman. We'll get fouls, foul shots here for Isaiah Suli. First free throw goes. Four point Centerberg lead. Drains both. Quickly ahead, Wallace into the lane, off the glass. That time won't go. Centerberg with the board. Suli across the timeline. Bump, no call. Into the lane, floats up again, off the back iron, no rebound to Kip. Trap, but they're able to break it. It's a two, three on two. Into the lane, rejected. Jaden Joyner with the block. A miss. And Ryder Scott comes up with the board. One minute left in the third, a five-point Centerberg lead. Hill. Gets it over the joiner. Back to Suli. Off the glass, no call. Rebound to Kip. Wallace. Back to Wall to Amos. On the baseline, puts it up, he's fouled, and free throws upcoming. First foul against Jaden Joyner. First free throw good for Amos. Deontay Smith checks back in for Kip. 
Centerbergs lead down the four. Led by as much as 16 here in the second half. Joiner gets it across the timeline. And he's bumped and will get a foul against Kip. That'll be Amos' first. Team's fourth. Joiner on the elbow. Look to pass it, turned it over. Back comes Kip into the lane. It was blocked, but Hill was on the line. It'll stay with Kip with 20 seconds left. Ball deflected, stays with Kip. Along the baseline, pass opposite side. Cordy for three, it's off the mark, rebound, right into the hands of Kip, but turned over. And a turnover right back. Both teams now with 15 turnovers. Schaller checks back in for Centerberg. Backdoor cut, layup, got it. 41-40. And that is how the quarter will end. Kip has come all the way back. Should take a look at the backdoor cut. 41-40 the score as we head to the fourth. Money time coming up after the break. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility, podiatry and surgical consultations too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center, it's a world of great care right around the corner. It is money time here in the heart of Ohio. 41-40 the score after a 22-9 third quarter by Kep Columbus. Travis Berardi back here in the heart of Ohio. As we are underway in fourth quarter action, Centerberg with possession. Ball deflected out, it'll stay with Centerberg. Suli. To Ryder Scott inside. Nearly gets it stolen, gets it away. Trevin Harris yet to get on the board tonight. Had some early foul trouble. He has four. Suli into the lane. Works around, puts it up, no. But the rebound's punched back in. It's a three-point lead. On the other end, three for Kipling. Short. Rebound Taylor. Hill, 
bump from behind, turns it over. And then they're going to call it the other way. That'll be Ryder Scott's third. Inside reverse won't go. Offensive board, no. Second chance does. Ruben Holmes brings it back to within one. Hill, nice crossover. Over to Scott. Now to Suli. 6.30 left in regulation, 43-42. Harris. Harris is going to try the mid-range too strong. And that's a travel. So Centerberg will get possession back. Inbounds to Trevin, fakes the hand off the hill. Six minutes left. Out to Isaiah. Scott, nice save. So all five players have touched the ball on this possession. Inside to Scott. Nice pass to Lee. A hold called on Kip Columbus underneath. That'll be the second on Dante Smith. Correction, they're going to call that on Wilder. That's his third. Inbounds to Hill. Bennett out to Harris. 5.30 left. Trojans trying to get it inside for a shot, but content holding on to the ball right now with a one-point lead. It was 32-18 Centerberg at the half. Kip Columbus came out firing in the third to cut it to one. Entry pass intercepted. Holmes mid-range, Kip has its first lead since 2-0. Suli, it's a travel. Forty-four, forty-three. Kip Columbus. Blaine Ball checks back in. That'll be a push. No, he said he stepped on the line. Another turnover. Twelfth turnover, actually the seventeenth turnover against Kip. Trojans chance to get the lead back here. In the Harris, right side three for the lead. Too strong off the backboard rebound. Kip airballed it. Cordy backs it out. Amos into the lane. Look to hand it off, gets it right back to him. Forces one up and in. Three point lead, midway point of the fourth. Gets it to Harris, right side, Scott. Drives it in, ball fake, puts it up, rejected. Cordy backs it out with 350 left.
Wallace bumped and a foul as we take a look at the rejection on the other end. Blaine Ball called for his second foul. Three from the corner. Yes! Amos with another bucket here in the second half. He is 12 in the second half. It's a six-point lead for Kip. Straightaway three. Way off the mark by Bennett Hill. And on the other end, Kip is starting to pull away with this. Jonathan Amos. Blaine Ball's third. Kip has held Centerberg to 11 second half points. Amos completes the three point play. Hill into the lane, loses the handle and a foul. That'll be Kibbling's fourth. Trojans get the inbounds. Out the ball. Suli for three. Needed that one. Back to a six point game. On the other end, right back at you comes Jonathan Amos. And then a foul against Isaiah Wallace. Eight point lead. Ahead, layup, foul. That'll be Reuben Holmes second. Plain ball, hits the first. Chance to cut this to two possessions here with the next free throw. Cordy will check in and replace Isaiah Wallace. Got them both. Ball's first two points of the game. Cuts this back to a six-point game with 237 left in regulation. Wallace hands it off to Amos. Across the timeline, jump stop. Over to Cordy, now into the corner to Smith. Inside, turn around, and he's going to get bailed out and get free throws. Reuben Holmes back to the line. Ryder Scott's fourth foul. Holmes is one of three from the line tonight. Misses the front end. Second free throw, good. And a timeout, Kip. 
leading 55-48, a 15-7. Fourth quarter thus far has them in the lead. Checking in on some scores from around the KMAC. East Knox defeats Granville Christian Academy 55-54. Northmore knocks off Winford 61-56. Highland defeats Danville 50-30. River Valley with a 64-52 win over North Union. <laughs> 222 left here. Let's take a look at head coach John Marhefka. Three possession lead for Kip. Suli. He has 28 points tonight. Might want to look to get it to him here in crunch time. Hill. Harris in the block. Gets it deflected. Takes it back. Now into Suli. Spins. Puts it up. Gets it to go. Suli with 30. Four, five point game. Centerberg nearly gets the trap, but it's broken by Amos. Into the lane, scoops it. No, offensive board put back. Good. Wall, Kalen Wallace with his first points of the night, but right back the other way. Finally, the first points for Trevin Harris. 57 52, 118 left. Both teams in the bonus. Nearly a five second count. Now we'll get a foul on Bennett Hill, his first. And he'll send Cordy to the line, who's 0 for 1 tonight. Missed the first. Kibbling checks in. As well as Taylor. And after a quick shirt tucking timeout. Second free throw. Centerberg will get the ball back. Pending an offensive rebound. Only down two possessions. It goes. It's a six-point game. 105 left. Sue Lee to Harris. Trevin into the lane. Scoops it off the glass and in. Timeout. John Marhefka as Harris has scored the last four points for Centerberg. 58-54. Is the score. Game reset, possession arrow in favor of Kip. Both teams will be shooting two free throws on non, every non-player control foul. Trojans with three timeouts remaining, Kip with two. Ryder Scott, four fouls. Trevin Harris, four fouls for Centerberg. Emmanuel Kipling, four fouls for Kip. Do the Trojans have some magic here on senior night? Or does Kip complete the comeback? Full 
Full court pressure for Centerberg. Nearly stolen away, but taken by Holmes. Gets it ahead to Smith. Back to Holmes, scoops it up and in. Six point game once again, 45 seconds. Harris, he's gonna take it to the hole, lay it up too strong, offensive rebound won't go. Another chance, Hill to Sue Lee. Back to Hill, they're gonna have to get a shot off quick. They're down six, Harris fakes the three. He gets in, puts it up and in. And a timeout, John Marhefka. Four-point game with 24 seconds left. So Centerberg trails by four. Took a lot of time off that possession. Gonna need a steal real quick or a foul to send Kip to the line. <laughs> Centerberg led by 14 at the break, 32-18. Interesting set here. Gets it into Wallace and he's fouled immediately. Wallace yet to go to the charity stripe here tonight. No matter what happens at the line, it's still a two possession game. But Centerberg will have to get a bucket quick and if he makes both free throws, preferably a three. Wallace is first. No good. Free throw woes continue for anybody not named Amos on Kip Columbus. Ryder Scott back in for rebounding purposes. Second free throw. Good. Five-point game. Harris crosses over, gets into the lane, puts it up, tough shot, no. Rebound Kip, out to Amos. Amos is gonna try the dunk and he finishes it off. And that is how the game will end after this inbound. It's a final. Kip Columbus gets the victory after trailing by 14 at the half. 63-56 is the final. We'll take a break when we come back. A post-game show right here, live and free. Nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health, 
to pain management. The Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. Hi, I'm Joe Baylog, and you're not. Hall of Fame coach turned future Hall of Fame host. Now he's on TV hosting his own. Highlighting our team in the Joe Show Zone. Hall of Fame coach, now a host. Sharing our stories from coast to coast. From the court to the screen, he's the best. Jules like to see Liz on in the Joe Show Quest. Because this is my show. And it's an all new me in the new year. Deal with it. Tonight's boys basketball action brought to you live and free on the OH Report thanks to our generous sponsors, Monarch Title Services. Without the support of Rochelle Sammons and her crew at Monarch Title, Centerburg Sports would not be available live and free to Trojan fans. If you're selling or refinancing your real estate, you get to choose the title company. Why not support those who support the Trojans and close with confidence anytime, anywhere? Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. Webb's Marathon and Automotive. Stop by Webb's Marathon to join the Webb's Rewards Program where you can earn dollars off fuel and free drinks and coffee. Go Trojans. The Ohio Suicide Prevention Foundation. Call or text 988 for support 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And Home and Kitchen Supply, your one-stop shop for kitchen and baths, windows and doors since 1970. Thank you all for allowing us to be live and free this evening.
Welcome back inside the Webb's Marathon and Automotive post-game show. Where your score to final, 63-56 in favor of Kip Columbus. We get right into the final statistics for the night. Tw they just dominated it at the inside. 24 twos, only one three. Out-rebounding Centerberg by 10, 30 to 20, 12 to five on the offensive glass. Both teams with 17 turnovers, 12 made free throws. They shot most of those free throws in the second half. Centerberg only shooting, I believe, four in the second half. The foul margin was completely flip-flopped from what we saw earlier on in the game. Twelve of twenty-two, the Jaguars. Eleven of sixteen, the Trojans. Individual scoring here for this evening. First four. Kip Columbus, Ruben Holmes, twenty-two points. Jonathan Amos, nineteen. Jason Cordy, nine. Emmanuel Kippelding and Dante Smith with four. Kalen Wallace and Antoine Holman with two. Isaiah Wallace with one. As for Centerberg, 30 from Isaiah Suley, 13 from Bennett Hill, six from Trevin Harris, four from Ryder Scott, two from Owen Taylor, and two from Blaine Ball. 14-4 Centerberg in the first, 18-14 Centerberg in the second for a 32-18 lead. Kip then 22-9 in the third and 23-15 in the fourth for the 63-56 victory. We'll take one more break and be back with our MVP right here, live and free. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility. Podiatry and surgical consultations, too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center. It's a world of great care right around the corner. Time now for our Knox Community Hospital MVP. It is Reuben Holmes, the big man from Kip Columbus. 22 points to lead the way as the Jaguars fight all the way back to knock off Centerburg 63-56 on the road. First of all, Reuben, congratulations. Uh, a balanced effort for you, 10 in the first half, 12 in the second half. Just what worked for you tonight? Um, my team helping me out, you know, assist, get me the ball. You know, um, helping me better adjust to the game. And, you know, my coach giving us motivation. And throughout the game, talking it out, you know, and yeah. Um, speaking of your coach, you guys were trailing 32-18 at the half. What did coach say? What did you guys say in that locker room to get you motivated to go on such a big run in that third quarter to get you back into the game and then to win it? Uh, just that we started off slow. We needed to work together because um, all we got at the end of the day is each other. And coach was basically telling us that, you know, we need to stick together, talk it out, and just uh, keep our head in the game. Okay. Uh, this is back-to-back -back night. You went on the road and beat K-Max squads, two of the uh, top four teams in the Knoxmar Athletic Conference. You beat Cardington last night by 10. You come back to beat Centerburg here tonight. Just, uh, you know, uh, what does that do for you guys motivationally-wise and uh, momentum-wise, knocking off two good squads as you get ready for the tournament? 
Uh, it gives us it gives us a burst of energy. It gives us motivation, um, good spirits, and good um, good thoughts. Um, you guys are getting ready for a tournament run here this season. You guys are the 13th seed. You'll be facing 14th seed Liberty Union. So you'll get a home game in the sectional semifinal. What do you guys want to do to get ready for that game? Um, uh, talk a lot of things out. See what we got to do. You know. Um, Talk to coach, uh, you know, just get better with ourselves. All right. Finally, the easiest question I'm going to ask you tonight. Look into that camera and give anybody a shout out that you like. Uh, shout out to my team. Shout out to my coach. You know, uh, shout out to our fans that came out tonight. We couldn't have did it without y'all. Uh, at the end of the day, we got each other, and that's all that matters. There you have it. Tonight's MVP, Ruben Holmes, a team high 22 points as Kip Columbus comes back to beat Centerberg. Congratulations. Thank you. From primary care to orthopedics, women's health to pain management, the Knox Community Hospital Centerburg Health and Wellness Center provides excellent care for virtually all your family's health care needs. Comprehensive lab services are also offered at our state-of-the-art facility, podiatry and surgical consultations too. The Centerburg Health and Wellness Center, it's a world of great care right around the corner. Back here as we wrap things up inside the Webs Marathon and Automotive post game show. 6356, you talk to one of the two main contributors for tonight's victory. As Kip comes back to knock off K Max squads in back to back nights. Next up for Kip, they'll take on a squad that I believe our friend Blade Tackett and company will be watching closely on. Patriot Prep. Kip Columbus will be there in two days' time. Two nights from now at 7 o'clock. Centerburg will be at Licking Valley in three nights from now on Friday. That'll wrap things up here from the heart of Ohio. I want to thank everybody to help make things possible tonight. Brandon Powell, as always, great job on the camera work. We also want to thank our sponsors this evening, Monarch Title Services, our scoreboard sponsor, Knox Community Hospital, our MVP sponsor, Webb's Marathon and Automotive, our pregame, halftime, postgame sponsor, the Ohio Suit of Suicide Prevention, our instant replay sponsor, Home and Kitchen Supply, our timeout sponsor, and Knox Community Hospital, our commercial sponsor. I want to thank the fine folks here at Centerburg for allowing us to be here tonight, as well as the OHSA for allowing us to stream these games to you live and free. Kip Columbus with a huge second half comes back to defeat Centerburg 63-56. For Brandon Powell, I'm Travis Berardi saying so long from the heart of Ohio. <laughs>